Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, we will still continue talking about the uh, SN1 and SN2 mechanism of a given haloalkin. So, let's look on your notes on page 8. Okay, so here is actually the summary from the previous video. Tapi, I need copy paste it here. But first and foremost, let's look for the compound. So, let's draw the compound. We know that it's butane. So, we have 4 carbon. Okay, and then... Lagi? 3 chloro 2 2 dimethyl butane so 2 2 here maknanya we have 2 of our metal and then we have 1 chloro ok so the rest two we're gonna um, finish up ataupun we're gonna complete the molecule with our hydrogen ok so let's look here on uh, for our carbon that contain our halogen let's check what is the classification so it's secondary haloalkin so we prefer to undergo sn1 okay so step one again what we're going to form adalah actually the formation of carbocation where chlorine will leave this uh, compound lah because chlorine is a good living group so it will break again and then the electron will follow to the more electronegative atom which is chlorine Okay, so I'm going to show must be from the bond to our chlorine atom. It's a slow reaction. Okay, so what we're going to form plus dengan Cl. But then again, carbon don't need electron, so positively charged. Chlorine dah accept electron, so dia adalah negatively charged. Okay, so chlorine ni is actually a stable ion. Okay, dia ada 6 electron by itself. But then they accept 2 more electrons. So, dia capai 8 which is octet. So, that's why lah. It's a stable ion and a good living group. So, Cl minus. Okay, but then for any carbocat ion, you have to check whether we could do the arrangement ke tidak. Okay, so, must, uh, must check dengan carbon yang betul-betul sebelah dia sahaja. Okay, so for our carbocat ion here is secondary. So, ada primary dengan quaternary. Okay, so originally dia adalah secondary carbocat ion. But then when we learn, kita ada tertiary je. Nah, tertiary, secondary, primary. Okay. Tapi kenapa ada uh, quaternary pula ni? Okay, and then kalau rearrangement, there's two type 1 to hydrate shift ataupun 1 to CH3 shift. Okay, so masalahnya if we do 1 to hydrate shift, nanti carbocat ion jadi primary so tak nak lah. Okay, so we're going to shift dengan yang quaternary tu. Kita akan shift 1, 2, CH3, shift. So, we will shift uh, the carbocat ion, the positive charge dengan metal. But then, for the previous example, like example B, okay, kenapa dekat sini kita buat 1, 2, hydride shift? Because CH3 shift, sebab dekat sini kita ada hydride dengan CH3. So, when we have two choices, kita akan pilih yang hydride lah. But for this case pula, Uh, for this one we only have CH3 tak ada hydrogen pun kan untuk dia buat shift so that's why we're going to take one to CH3 shift kalau kita buat hydride shift pula nanti dia akan jadi primary carbocat ion so we don't want that this case what we're going to do adalah I'm going to write down one to CH3 shift So again, what we're going to shift is actually our metal with our carbocat ion. So I'm going to change the position. Okay, so yang quaternary tadi tu jadi positif. Yang the purple one ni adanya CH3. Okay, and then when we check the classification of each of the carbon, ataupun the uh, carbocat ion and the carbon next to it, this is tertiary. Carbocat ion pun tertiary. Yang hujung ni primary. So we form tertiary carbocat ion which is the most stable carbocat ion so barulah kita boleh buat step 2 so I, I believe you could do it yourself the same goes for question D sama sahaja dengan uh, question C ni now let's look for page 8 um, yeah, page 9 but then here what I'm going to do adalah copy paste a bit of summary SN1 and SN2 here ok so we have bromoethane Okay, so bromoethane, we have two carbon attached to bromine. Make sure each carbon we have four bond. Okay, and then check the classification of our haloalkin. So carbon bromine ni, okay, sedang disebut macam ni lah. Okay, and then when I check it, uh, I can see that it's 
primary haloalkin. So primary haloalkin, okay, first time we're going to look primary haloalkin, kan? So we undergo SN2 with a strong nucleophile, which is we're going to use sodium hydroxide ataupun potassium hydroxide pun boleh. So it must be in reflux. Okay, so what happened is that we're going to substitute our halide with our OH. Okay, so again for SN2 reaction for metal and primary, sebenarnya there's no case of rearrangement sebab no carbocate ion. So actually tulis, uh, tulis product based on the equation pun dah betul. So there's no case rearrangement, senang sikit lah. So right now let's learn the new mechanism. So new mechanism kita which is SN2. But before that, first and foremost, kita nak buat division sikit from um, our previous chapter, chapter 11 sebenarnya. So, we have learned about drawing the enantiomer. Before we draw the enantiomer, we have learned about the 3D structure. Ada yang apa ni, wedges lah, ada yang dash line lah. Okay, so benda ni, um, we uh, we also going to use it in SN2 mechanism. Okay, but then, before we're going to draw our 3D arrangement, sebenarnya, hindi, kita kena tunjuk carbon ni, we have four bond. Lepas tu, nanti kita akan arrange jadi 3D lah. Okay, so let's do it here. So, carbon ni ada four bond. Okay, so dalam case ni, okay, I'm going to show one carbon bonded to bromine. Lepas tu, carbon tu bonded to two of my hydrogen. Okay, and then, another one adalah uh, my metal, CH3. Okay, so I have this structure. Nanti kita boleh buat 3D. Okay, why we have to draw the 3D structures? But the general mechanism here in terms of 3D structure. So, kita kena buat, uh, we have to show it. Okay. So, what we're going to draw here adalah in terms of, okay. So, sebenarnya ini senang sikit. But, okay. Kita kena uh, use carbon bromine yang straight line macam biasa. Okay, so the rest of our line tu yang straight line, yang dash line, yang wedge line tu kita buat macam biasa sahaja. Buat macam kepak dia ya. Ha, macam tu lah. Okay, so again yang straight line macam biasa, we're going to take the longest carbon ataupun longest substituent. Dalam case ni it's not that long. Our metal. So the rest tu we're going to draw our hydrogen. Okay, so this is actually our 3D structure for the SN2 mechanism. Okay, so kita dah buat first step. Ha, ni macam... So, next step is actually kita nak buat nucleophilic attack from the back and then adanya lift off our halide. Okay, so macam mana tu? Dalam kes ni, we're going to show that nucleophilic will attack the carbon. Okay, this case, our nucleophile is actually our OH- Again, SN2 adalah untuk strong nucleophile. So, OH- kita akan tunjuk Okay, oksigen ni actually akan attack to carbon. And then, this bond will break, akan break. Uh, the electron will move towards bromine. So, we have to show, okay, what will happen? Okay, kena tunjuk bracket dekat sini. Carbon ni, dia macam dash-dash line tau. Dia dot-dot-dot line dengan bromine, dengan dot-dot line dengan OH. Okay. Tu baru dua. Okay, so apa yang akan jadi? CH3 si tu akan jadi satu straight line di atas. And then, what we have here... We have yang H2 dash line dengan wedge tu. Kita buat sahaja. And then we're going to use this symbol which um, means that is a transition state. So the transition ni sekejap sahaja. Okay so kenapa kata it's only for a short time, very brief time. Sebab right now carbon has 5 bonds. So sepatutnya dia ada 4 bonds sahaja. Ha, so we're going to leave bromine. So actually bromine ni akan leave the transition state. So, what happen adalah COH ni, the same position. Okay, tapi sekarang ni, um, the position dia macam terbalik pula. Okay, so the three lines tu macam ni pula. Okay, so dia inverted. But then, we um, gonna just write down CH3, hydrogen, hydrogen. And then we have our halogen as um, a good living group, BR-. minus. So, that is actually our SN2 mechanism. Okay, so again, the nucleophilic attack from the back, lepas tu hella ion leave, kita form a transition state, lepas tu kita akan form a new complex. Okay, so inversion ni sebenarnya, okay, so bayangkan, so this is actually kamu punya ah, payung ni kan, ah, macam buruknya payung ni, apa nyapu pun boleh jugalah. Ah, okay, as you can see, it's already inverted, so we have to show lah it's a ven... Uh, there's actually inversion, ataupun umbrella boleh, punya apa pun boleh. 
So that's it for SN2 mechanism. We have to use it in 3D structure. Okay, so mechanism quite straightforward sebenarnya. So I believe you could try yourself for example F. So that's actually the end of mechanism. But that's not the end of organic chemistry lagi.